You can buy a book at any bookstore. It is everywhere. And we would love you to read along with us. Yeah, the first sentence here describes what he means. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To teach is to demonstrate. Yeah, there you are. There are only two thought systems, and you demonstrate that you believe one or the other is true all the time. From your demonstration, others learn, and so do you. The question is not whether you will teach, for in that there is no choice. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the course might be said to provide you with the means of choosing what you want to teach on the basis of what you want to learn. You cannot give to someone else, but only to yourself. And this you learn through teaching. Teaching is but a call to witnesses to attest to what you believe. It is a method of conversion. This is not done by words alone. Any situation must be to you a chance to teach others what you are and what they are to you. No more than that, but also never less. That reminds me in the text where it says, Believe with me and we will become equal as teachers. That belief is yeah, believe in me about the reality of who we are, and you'll be teaching the same message Jesus taught, which is that we are eternal beings that cannot be hurt. That's what his major demonstration says, demonstrate. The crucifixion and resurrection was a demonstration that this is who I am, and this is who you are. And it was a demonstration, and so that's what he's saying. We're trying to demonstrate by our actions and our thoughts and our, our relationships that we believe the truth about who we all are, and not the ego's idea. But it I, takes a little practice. Yeah, I think it says that uh, we're all teachers as well as learners. Not only us who are studying the Course in Miracles, but I think everybody mm -hmm. is, is always teaching. Yeah, they're either teaching the ego or they're yeah. teaching the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, and that's why this course is to get you more convinced that I think I'll spend my time, more of my time, as much as possible, yeah. teaching the spirit, because I want to learn it. That's why I said the purpose of the course might be said to provide you with the means of choosing what you want to teach on the basis on what you want to learn. And before I had this theory, I didn't really realize I was teaching myself. I was a body, vulnerable, and fear. I was teaching myself fear. I didn't know I was teaching myself. I thought that was just the way it was. Yeah. I didn't know I was teaching yeah. it yeah. to myself. Yeah. yeah, we're always teaching one or the other. And that's why, once you get that, then you start to realize why my vigilance in what I teach is how I'm going to learn this truth. I'm not learning this truth through osmosis. I'm not learning it from just because it is the truth. I'm learning it from my demonstration. And so I need to pay attention and like not tolerate mind wandering, like he says, which would wander me into the ego teachings. <laughs> right? We're entirely too tolerant of idle thoughts. Yes. <laughs> Because we don't really realize what we're doing. We're teaching ourselves stuff. We're not independent of what this demonstration is. We think, this is, remember, the whole ego's premise is if I teach you you're guilty, I get to be innocent. Mm -hmm. But if I demonstrate you're guilty, I'm demonstrating I am. I'm not going to be separate from my teaching. It's not how it works. That's not how the mind really works. Okay, Jesus.